Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On May the 10th, I made a video how to study fundamentals less than a minute. After that, I received a few requests ask me if I can make another video on how to study the stock charts less than a minute. Well, to do that, I definitely can, but uh, the video is going to be too long and too boring to you because there are so many technical indicators going to be involved. So I decided to make things simple. I'm going to just make a part one of that video today. So in today's video, I will talk about how to study a stock chart less than a minute. Part one, moving average simplified. I'm going to mention three moving averages today. One is simple moving average. Second, exponential moving average, EMA. First one is called SMA and an EMA. Third one, I'm going to mention volume weighted moving average, also called a VWAP. So please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you will not miss any part two, part three, part four videos for this study stock charts in less than a minute. And also please leave in the comment below what else the topics you want me to make in the future. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. The moving average is a simple technical analysis tool that smooths out price data by creating a constantly updated average price. So the moving average, usually we use 25 days, 50 days, 100 days, and 200 days moving average. It can be used for longer period of time, like this is a three months chart or even five years or 10 years chart, each candle representing one daily price. And this is a daily chart, each candle representing one minute. So you can use the moving average line for both long term and short term. So the moving average alone can be beneficial for both long term investors and short term traders. I'll use the Tesla stock chart uh, to illustrate the meaning of moving average. The moving average lines can be used as both support line as well as the resistance line for any stock chart. When the stock chart is sitting above the moving average, that signals a uptrend moving direction, which is also a signal for investors to get in to the stock or enter the stock or long the stock. When the stock chart becoming cross moving average, that signals the downtrend or trend reversal for that stock. That's also a signal for investors to exit the stock or start to short the stock. In this chart, I use the purple line for the 25 day moving average, the red line for the 50 day moving average, the blue line for the 100 day moving average, as well as the uh, green line for the 200 day moving average. The moving average line is calculated automatically by this platform. For example, this is a 25 days line. So they average the 25 days price and divided by 25 days. The shorter the moving average line, the closer to the actual price of the stock. So you can see if it's at the up trend, usually the 25 days is above 50 days and then it's above 100 days and then it's above 200 days. However, it will not the same when the stock coming downtrend. In the downtrend of any stock, the moving average is positioned exactly the opposite as uptrend. You can see the 25 days, which is the purple line, is below the 50 days red line. It's also below the 100 blue line and below the 200 green line. That signals price of the stock gonna go downtrend for a while. So that's a signal for the stock investor or day trader or swing trader to start a short position or exit of a long position. That leads to a two very important cross. One is called death cross, the other called a golden cross. The death cross, as you can see over here, is around 9.47 in the morning, May the 13th. The death cross 
occurs, the 50-day moving average go below the 200-day moving average. So the price going down immediately. That's a bearish sign for the investors to get out of the stock or start to short the stock. The exact opposite is showing here, which is occurred around 11-11, May the 14th. You can see clearly the red 50-day moving average crossed the green 200-day moving average. That is called a golden cross, which lead to a bullish movement almost until the end of the trading day. So that's a very clear signal for the trader or investor to get into the position and then keep in the position until the trend line changes. So that cross and golden cross are both very important indicators for the stock traders during the trading hours. However, one thing I have to emphasize here is that moving averages are calculated based on the historical data and then nothing is about calculating or predicting the future. So sometimes the moving average can be random, which means it may not be accurate for you to just use the moving average to guide your trading exactly showing like here this part of the stock is on the upper trend but look at this this is still in the death cross zone so you have to compare with other indicators rsi and macd as well as the shape of the chart which we just met a w so other indicators i'm gonna talk about in my part two or part three video but not in this video so moving average works very well when there is a strong trend line which is this part or this part of the trend but it will work poorly in the choppy environment so you have to keep in mind of this. So what is the difference between SMA line and an EMA line? SMA line defines as simple moving average. EM line defines as exponential moving average. Exponential moving average, the calculation itself is a lot more complex than SMA line. Although we don't have to remember how to calculate them, the platform will calculate, compute everything for you automatically. Just one thing you have to remember that if you apply the EMA line for the same day's range, for example, this is 25 days, and then you apply another EMA line here, you will see that the EMA line is closer to the actual stock price or stock charts. EMA line is putting more weight to the most recent prices as versus SMA line. Now we need to mention the VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price. VWAP is calculated by the average price of every minute, the price high, low, and then the closing price divided by three get an average and then divided by the period volume which occurred in that minute. However, during a day, you have 390 minutes in total. VWAP will be calculated every minute by the machine. VWAP can only be used by the daily chart, cannot be used for the longer than daily chart. When the price going below the VWAP, that means the price or the chart is going downtrend. When the prices of a stock go above the VWAP or go way above the VWAP, that's a bullish sign that means there's an uptrend. And then VWAP is also can indicate your trading efficiency, which means if your buying order is way below the VWAP, that means you bought in a very good price. And later on, when you sell at a price high above the VWAP, that means you sold at a very good price. So that means you can execute efficiently. VWAP is also used to identify the liquidity points, helping the institution buyers or seller with large orders. For some traders, uh, especially day traders or scalp traders, they usually just use VWAP as an indicator when they do the trading. They don't even put in those moving average EM line or SMA line. So they use VWAP combined with RSI and MACD and all the other indicators to guide their tradings. So VWAP is very well known and then very widely used during the trading hours. This ends today's video. The moving average 
VWAB, SMA line, EMA line. They are very useful tools to guide investors and traders to decide their entry and exiting point of their stock prices when they're trading. If you have any questions regarding these moving averages, please leave your comment in the comment down below and I will answer your questions. I will see you in the part two of this video series. If you like today's video, please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment and share the video with whoever you think will be benefit from today's video. And also do not forget to smash that notification bell so you'll be the first one to know when my new video comes out. Thank you.